Thanks for tuning in to Century Sunday, and today we're going to be making popsicle stick puzzles. I found a quick and easy activity to do today on this Sunday, and for our project, you're going to need some popsicle sticks, some crayons, some glue, some kind of print printable, and um, I'm just using an old toothbrush to apply the glue, or you can use a paintbrush or really anything that you would like. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get my colors out, and we are going to be coloring all of the leaves in. You're also going to need some scissors. Okay, so I cut a few of my pictures out, and then you're just going to want to line up your popsicle sticks and figure out how many you're going to need. So I'm going to start with um, just taking one, and it's just going to need um, this many popsicle sticks for this photo. So you just want to take some extra popsicle sticks and just push them, push them together, and um, line them up at the top and the bottom as well. You want them, you want your picture to be tight. I'm getting photo bomb with my kit. I don't like these two in the middle, they're not lining up, so I'm just going to add in two more. You also have to play around with your sticks, they're not always going to be completely straight. So then I'm going to go ahead and take some glue and put it on the back here, and then um, apply it to my sticks. And I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of brush it on. So if you have any old toothbrushes that you want to save, um, that's a really good reusable project for them because you're not going to be putting any of these activities in your mouth. Make sure you get all the way to the corner. If you have a craft mat, you would maybe want to use that unless you want to clean glue off your floor, which I am in a hurry because you never know how long Boo is going to sleep and then he's going to be screaming in the middle of my video. So then just make sure that your sticks are lined up again. And then just stick this right in the middle of all your sticks. And then again, make sure that they are tight and push down on it. And then I'm going to let mine dry for a little while. And I think I'm going to put a layer of glue over the top. I would have used my Mod Podge, but for some reason I can't find it. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry, and I'll go ahead and do some other ones as well. Okay, so now that the bottom glue is almost dry, we are going to put a layer over the top. I'm just going to use the same kind of glue. It dries clear, so we're just going to apply a little bit and use the same toothbrush. I did make this another one, and I'm going to show you some different ideas. I'm just going to put the glue on the paintbrush this time, and then just paint it all over it just to kind of give it a layer kind of similar to what the Mod Podge would. Now I've never tried this before so I'm not sure how great it's going to work but if not it only costs, you know, I paid a dollar for all of these popsicle sticks so I'm not going to be out of a lot of money for this project. So this is just going to help all of the edges adhere to the popsicle stick a little bit better. You don't want to completely soak it or all the paper will start to get nasty. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a layer on top of all of my colors and then we'll come back and we'll do the finish up. So this is how they all look after the glue dries. I have figured that you can do these two different ways. For now, since Boo Boo is so young, I am going to keep them whole like this so that we can learn colors. And with the more of the um, popsicle sticks on it, the sturdier they are. So I made an extra one. For some reason, this one printed smaller to show you how you could cut it to make your puzzle. So you can use an X-Acto or a um, blade like this, but you're just going to want to cut down the popsicle stick line. Every time I make a video, the cat has to walk through here. So just cut through your popsicle sticks. And I did only do one layer of glue, and you may want to use a um, craft mat for this, so you don't cut your floor. Like I'm doing. So, you just cut it up and then you can make your puzzle 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of it. And, and here right is back. the final. I have cut all of the pieces. So you can just undo them all and then match them back up to make your puzzle. And like I said, you can use any kind of picture you want. I just found some fall leaves. You can use um, your family photos or anything. You can make them specific holiday related or just basically anything you want. So this is our popsicle stick puzzle. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.